welcome back. Today I have a lipstick collection video for you. This is my entire, sorry, I should say lip product because this is my entire lip product collection. Like I'm not just taking you through a few shades here that I like, I'm taking you through the whole thing. I recently cut down my lip products quite a lot because I had some that were quite a few years old, not gonna lie. And to be fair, I still do, but obviously I um, checked that they were still kind of okay to use. They smelled fine, but just be aware, some of these products are quite old and you are probably going to have seen them quite a few times on my channel before. Um, but I thought it would be fun. I know that you guys like seeing lip videos and I am obsessed with lip products. So I am always buying and trying new ones. But I have really kind of refined down my lip collection recently to just 24 products. And that includes all of my lipsticks, lip glosses and liquid lips. And then I have three lip liners on top of that. So 24 plus three is 27. <laughs> so what I thought would be fun to do is just talk you through every lip product I have, show you swatches on my lips so you can see exactly what they look like. And maybe if you're looking for a certain type of shade or wondering about a certain lipstick and whether they're good or not, because you've seen people talking about them, then hopefully this will give you a rundown because my lipsticks, I tend when I find a formula that I like, I tend to buy two or three shades in that formula so I can try different shades and make different looks. Um, but yeah, these are definitely my tried and true loves. So I probably got rid of about half of my collection either because they were really old and had gone bad or I just didn't like the shade anymore. Like I'd gone off it, it didn't suit me as well anymore or um, it just wasn't really that good in the first place and I just kept it lying around because I don't like getting rid of things. Um, I'm definitely a hoarder. Please do also leave your lipstick recommendations because as I say, I'm always trying new lip products, looking for new lip products. It's one of my favorite things to test out, especially if I'm trying a brand for a first time. I will generally go for a lip product to try first. They're fairly easy to know if you're gonna like it or not. It's generally about the shade and then you can kind of see from the description if you're gonna like the formula, if it's gonna be matte, not matte, glossy, whatever. Wow, forgot words. Okay, let's get into this. Without further ado, here is my lip product video. <laughs> so I'm gonna go by formula and I'm gonna go through lip liners first because to me, they're the most boring lip product. <laughs> I've spoken before a lot of times about the gosh lip liners and I do still really like those, but I had had my gosh lip liners for three or four years. Um, so I thought it was time to try something new out. Um, so recently I picked up the Nabla Velveteen lip liners on Beauty Bay. Again, this is like a good example of when I wanted to try a new brand and I thought, you know what, let's try their lip products first because I can pretty much tell like, yeah, that shades, there's loads of lip swatches online really readily available to see. So you can kind of tell fairly well um, if a lip product is going to be the kind of tone that you enjoy wearing. Whereas I think it's a little bit harder to tell that online from foundation, um, you know, base products, that kind of thing. I picked up the shades, Rosy Magnolia and Touch Me. Um, so Touch Me is more of a brown and Rosy Magnolia is more of a kind of mauve a little bit of pink undertone, but I would say more mauve. They're both slightly darker than my natural lip color. So they do do a really good job of defining that lip line. And I generally use them just on the outer and then I might fill in a tiny bit of my lips, but I don't tend to use them all over my lips. The formula is very pigmented and it glides on really easily and it stays for a long time as well, but it is gonna stay a little bit tacky on your lips. It's quite a moisturizing lip liner. So it's not gonna settle into all of the fine lines. So I really, really have been enjoying these. I've been using them pretty consistently for three or four months now. No, just after Christmas, so maybe two or three months. But yeah, I've really been enjoying them and would recommend them if you are in the market for new lip liners. 
So I generally only wear nude lips just because they're low fast, easy, and I know they're gonna kind of look okay, whatever shade they are. But there are those times when you kind of just feel like rocking a red lip. So for that purpose, I do keep around the Gosh Lip Liner in the shade Simply Red. I mean, the name just says it all really, but uh, that's why I gotta keep it. But yeah, it's very worn down to the nub, but it's just a true kind of blue red shade. I find that blue reds generally suit me a little bit more than orange reds. The formula of this, again, is pretty moisturizing. I find it a little bit drier than this, but it might just be because it's an older product, like it's been sitting around for a year or so. So uh, that might be, it just might have dried out a bit, but um, I also think that it's not quite as pigmented as the Nabla. So overall, I do think I prefer the Nabla lip liner, um, but the Gosh ones are readily available in drugstores. You can go and have a swatch of them and they are really good and they've got a bunch of shades as well. So a good kind of second up, I think. Moving on to liquid lips. So I only kept three liquid lipsticks in my collection. Well, kind of four, but I'll get on to the fourth. So I rarely wear matte lipstick. Like I don't really enjoy it. The, I prefer a satin lip just because it's more comfortable. I think it looks more flattering on me. I just don't think matte lips suit me, they're not really my vibe. But there are occasions when I like to have um, a little bit more of a matte look and um, it just is a little bit more foolproof and it, and it lasts a bit longer. So when I want that, I do sometimes go for a matte lip. So I kept around the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick and this is in the shade Beso. Again, this is more of a blue-based red and it's just really a true red. I pair it with the Gosh Lip Liner, and then if I wanna wear a red lip, I know that I have these two in my collection that I can go to. Um, the Stila Liquid Lipsticks are very kind of moussey and pigmented, so you have to go in with a little hand, a little hand, a light hand. So they do have a lot of product when you pull it out of the tube, um, so I, usually just go in with the tip and kind of line it. In the cutaway, you'll see I haven't used any lip liners underneath the product so that you can see the true swatch of every individual lip product without anything else interfering with it. And you'll see that it kind of bleeds around the edges. So I do recommend using this with a lip liner because it can be a little bit tricky to work with. It's a little bit high maintenance, but what red lip isn't, that's why I don't really wear them. Um, but it's a, it's still a good lipstick to have around. Like I don't feel the need to replace it and get a different red lipstick. So I just keep it in my collection just for those days when I want to break it out. The other two matte liquid lipsticks that I kept were the Anastasia, Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Naked, which is a kind of brown toned, peachy beige nude. Wow, that's a lot of different shades, Joe. Much more brown toned than this one, which is Bare Minerals Swag. I think my favorite liquid lipstick formula of all time is still the Bare Minerals Gen Nude formula. I just think they are the most comfortable ones to wear. Um, they're quite thick, but they go on Effortless, effortlessly and, I, and they never kind of settle in my fine lines either. They definitely dry down to a matte, but they don't feel like, oh my God, my lips literally feel like they have been put through sandpaper or something, you know. So I do find them very comfortable to wear and they last a long time and I like the shade of this. This is something that I will normally wear on kind of an evening look if I'm going out for dinner and I want something that will last and if I'm you know, gonna be eating a lot and drinking a lot, then I know that this will tend to kind of leave my lips with a nice flattering stain even when it starts wearing off. So I do really like this one. And this one in Naked is another good one. It's much more dry than this one though. So it will dry down. The best way that I like to wear this is with a lip liner underneath. I just think it's the most flattering and you can really like carve out your lip line and give it that um, kind of ombre look where you've got your lips lined and then you have a lighter shade in the middle. Um, and then I do like to pair a gloss with it on top. I will usually do like a nudie gloss. And then I find that that 
really makes it much more comfortable to wear and will literally last all night. Like you will not have to top it up. So if I'm going like out, out, then I'll usually wear something like that where I'll, I'll line my lips, then wear this, then put a gloss on top. All of the products that I kept in my collection, I've worn in the past year. So I know that I still have a reason to wear them or a look that I like wearing them with. Um, and that's kind of why I keep them around or I just really love the formula. So this is the Marc Jacobs Fawn Over Me lipstick. Oh, sorry, it's Le Marc Liquid Lip Creme. This is a liquid lipstick and it reminds me a lot of the Anastasia Naked one, but this one is not gonna dry down matte. So it kind of leaves your lips with a pillowy, satin feeling and when it does start to wear off it just leaves a really really comfortable stain and this one is going to transfer and it's just it's it's not anywhere near matte it just isn't matte but i do think because of that it has a slight sheen to the to the lips and, and it looks a lot more flattering on me because i don't like that very matte dry flat look the smell really isn't anything to write home about like it just smells like chemicals to be honest and the applicator is not my favorite but it's not bad by any means and it does dispense the product well and yeah I mean this is going to be a pricey lip product obviously it's Marc Jacobs but I do think it's fairly unique in that not many people are doing liquid lip products that aren't matte so if you are not a matte lover but you like the kind of potency of liquid lips then I would really recommend this and the shade is a beautiful nude shade and I prefer to wear it just as I do with the liquid the matte liquid lips in the evening just because they are a bit of a thicker formula and this is from Essence and this is their color up shine on lipstick in the shade 10 which I think is called rose glitz so this is a kind of more plummy berry toned nude but because it's so sheer and it's very very shiny it looks a more like a gloss on i really really like this for just wearing if i know i'm only going to wear makeup for a couple of hours like i'm just going out on a sunday afternoon or something i'll just whack this on it's really easy very low maintenance you just swipe 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 you can do it without a mirror and it just looks very like your lips are just bitten and i love wearing it in the autumn for that reason However, I do find that after a couple of hours, my lips feel very dry. All of the lip product has come off. It's not long lasting at all. And it kind of makes my lip feel dry. And I don't know if that's because there's more kind of chemical filler ingredients in it, because obviously Essence is a very, very affordable brand. So this is only gonna set you back a couple of pounds. I do find that it's not as long lasting or comfortable and I have to wear a lip balm a few hours after wearing this because it kind of like makes my lips itch and dry but I do really like the look that it gives when it goes on and you know for the first hour I think it still looks pretty. The next one that I have to talk about and this is also from the drugstore this is Soap and Glory's Completely Balmy Lipstick so they came out with a few different ranges in like a peach scented range and they're all different shades of peach and I love peach lips so um i actually bought all three shades but the one that i kept because this is the one that i wear the most and it's the most flattering on me is peach ball so it comes in this like little thin stick and it's basically like a lip balm but it's tinted but i would say it's more like a lipstick it's definitely not long lasting but it feels more like a lipstick than a lip balm like i wouldn't wear this in replacement of a lip balm. But it is very moisturizing. It's pretty sheer, but you can build it up to be fairly opaque. A good one to just throw on for a couple of hours in the day if you just want something to brighten yourself up. I like wearing that in the summer. Don't really wear it any other time of year because the shade is a summer shade on me. So for lipsticks next, I'm gonna talk about the Eye of Aurus lipsticks. So these were actually gifted. Eye of Aurus sent these to me last year and I have included them before in, in a few videos, but I do really enjoy the formula. Eye of Aurus is a great natural brand. I don't think everything, no, 
it's not completely vegan, but a lot of what they sell are vegan, and I'm pretty sure the lipsticks are vegan. Um, they also come in cardboard packaging, so it's biodegradable, and these are the bio lipsticks. So I kept the shades um, Peach, which is Aurora, Aurora Peach. So they all have kind of names of goddesses. Um, this is Inanna Nude. Honey, which is Artemis, and Pink, which is Venus. So in terms of the formula of these, these are gonna be a satin formula, which is somewhere between cream and matte. So they're very comfortable to wear. They are also pretty long lasting. They're a little bit more sheer than some of the other lipsticks I'm about to talk about, but you can build them up to be completely opaque. Um, I personally prefer wearing these with a lip gloss. I just think they really suit that look because they are a bit of a thinner formula. So they, complement a lip gloss really well whereas some lipsticks can be a little bit thick to wear a lip gloss over the top so i would say my most worn shades are definitely nude and pink probably so the other formula that i have tried recently is nabla's lipstick so these are i think the original lipsticks i think they've just come out with a whole range of different types of lipstick but these are the original ones and they're designed to go with these lip liners. So I have the shade Magnolia, which is designed to go with the Rosy Magnolia lip liner. So they complement each other really well. So I'll just show you both of those swatched on my hand next to each other. So one, they're not the same shade. So the lip liner is here and it's a little bit darker than the lipstick shade, which is here. So this is again gonna be a satin formula. It reminds me a lot of the Charlotte Tilbury Comfort Matte. It's very comfortable to wear, but it's also very long lasting. And I find it's more pigmented than the Eye of Aurus ones. So this one again is one that I like to wear in the evenings. Um, personally, I just prefer that look, although I have worn it in the day as well, but I just, I think it, cause it's quite, um, it's a little bit darker than my natural lip color. So it just pair, pairs really well with like an evening smoky eye kind of look. If you wear the lip liner and the lipstick together, what it creates is this really nice kind of dimensional lip look, but they also blend really well in together. It's a very, very creamy formula and the packaging feels really luxe as well it has a nice click to it and it's pretty heavy so i do recommend checking out nabla like these are the only products that i've tried from them but i have really enjoyed all of them i think they're very high quality and they're not super expensive i'd say they're in the mid range so the next formula that i'm going to talk about is charlotte tilbury so i've spoken about this so many times but i love the charlotte tilbury lipstick formula it is my favorite high-end lipstick um they are obviously cruelty free, they feel really, really luxe. They come in these like rose gold packaging and when you pull it out of your bag and you're like touching up your lipstick when you're out, you just feel so bougie. And it's just a nice lipstick to like take on a night out with you because it just feels very luxe. I have two in the cream formula and this is gonna be super, super creamy and stay really creamy on your lips. And it is still long lasting and very pigmented, but they're gonna be very, uh, not glossy, but they're definitely gonna have a shine to them. Um, but if you like a creamy lipstick, then these are really, really good um, to invest your money in. And I've had these probably for between two, 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 two and a half years, and they don't smell off. If you ever have ever had a MAC lipstick, it will start smelling really, really weird about a year after you get it, like very strange smelling. But these do not, these still smell like the vanilla scent that I, had when I first, that they had when I first got them. I have the shades Kim KW and Penelope Pink. Uh, Kim KW, I don't wear a ton anymore just because it's a little bit light for what I prefer to wear. It kind of washes me out a little bit, but I did actually wear it in my last makeup tutorial and I paired it with like a darker lip gloss and then I think it can look really flattering. And then the Penelope Pink shade is 
very, very similar to my natural lip shade. So it's a good one to have around just for like a very natural nude look, which I wear in the day and I wear in the evenings. You know, it, it suits all occasions. I do have one more kissing shade. Um, for some reason I thought this was a matte, but of course it's not. This is the shade Coachella Coral. So this is very bright and corals are something that I would normally stay away from, but I was just I was just feeling a coral vibe last summer. So I bought this specifically for summer to kind of wear with a very glowy makeup look with hardly any eyeshadow or anything, just like lots of mascara and this. And it is a really, really gorgeous shade. It is very pigmented, but it doesn't look unflattering. So if you're looking for a coral lipstick, it's gonna feel luxe and be comfortable to wear. And you know, you know that it's gonna kind of stand the test of time would really recommend checking out Coachella Coral. The final Charlotte Tilbury lipstick I own is Super Cindy, and this is in the Comfort Matte formula. It says Comfort Matte, which it's basically a satin. Um, they last really well on the lips and they are gonna dry down, but they're not gonna dry completely matte to where your lips feel very Sahara Desert-y. Okay, now onto glosses. We are nearly there, we are nearly there. So the first formula I'm gonna talk about, let's do drugstore first again, the NYX Butter Glosses. Talked about these so many times. Um, the two shades that I kept in my collection are Sunday Mimosa and Tiramisu. So Sunday Mimosa is a very bright peachy pink shade basically. And this is the one that I really like to wear with the Eye of Aurus pink lipstick. So these pair beautifully together. They're very complementary of each other. And in the spring, it just makes a very nice pink spring-like vibe. It just reminds me of spring. So I, I really wanted to keep those because I love pairing them together. I really like that combination. The other one is Tiramisu, which is just a Your Lips But Better gloss. If you want something that's really easy to throw on you and you know is going to look good no matter what you are wearing it with, tiramisu look no further the uh, nyx formula is really affordable you know they're very easy to find they have a ton of different colors if you're just getting into makeup these are always the lip gloss that i recommend first because it's just easy to find a color that works for you and kind of play around with colors and and find what looks good on your skin tone i remember when these came out these they were like breaking the gloss trend no one had done glosses like this that weren't sticky and were so comfortable to wear and that were just like amazing basically and now i feel like every gloss out there is non-sticky and comfortable to wear i keep these around just because i will always i will always love them the other drugstore gloss that i wanted to mention was the collection liquid lip color now that implies that it's going to be extremely pigmented and like a liquid lipstick, right? Wrong. This is like a sheer gloss. <laughs> this is literally not anywhere near a liquid lipstick formula, but it is a really, really, really beautiful lip gloss. <laughs> this is in the shade Soft Kisses. Again, it is very affordable and um, you can pick it up in Boots or Superdrug, I think, collection are at. Um, they're at you can find them in lots of places in the UK. I'm not a huge fan of the applicator. It's got this weird like hourglass applicator. It smells really good though. It smells similar to the NYX Butter Glosses, like vanilla-y goodness. When I wanna wear, you know, minimal makeup, but just throw a little bit of gloss on, I often reach for this um, just cause it's, it's really nice. It's a good, it's a good gloss. <laughs> We're getting towards the end. Other glosses that I have recently picked up, I tried the Dose of Colors lip glosses. So these are from the most recent range. Um, and I have one in On Repeat and I have one in Can You Not? And these are both vegan as well. I really, really like Dose of Colors as a brand. The range of kind of colors and formulas and it just seems like they've really got their niche down, you know? Like they don't do base products, but what they do do, they do really well. Like I don't really hear bad reviews of their products. So these are very, very comfortable to wear. Wow, okay, how many times have I said that in this video? But my favorite color is on repeat. I definitely prefer this. It's gonna be similar to kind of like a NYX tiramisu. In fact, I will swatch them next to each other for you. So NYX tiramisu is a tiny bit more pink 
and Dose of Colours on repeat is just a little bit more brown, but they're both gonna give a very similar look. I pair them with loads of different lipsticks, but I also think they look gorgeous on their own. Um, I also have the shade on, Re sorry, Can You Not, which is a much more nude, nude, nude. Um, and I don't love this one, again, for the same reason as Kim KW, I just don't love this very, very nude, type of shade on me anymore. Um, it just washes me out, it's not super flattering, but if I'm gonna wear it with a darker lipstick or a darker lip liner, then I do think that this is pretty. So the other one that I've kept in my collection, which I think is, I might get rid of this one now, because this is the Buxom Lip Gloss in the shade White Russian. I think it's a lip cream, actually. Um, but it's very, very sheer. It's basically a clear gloss. Um, don't be fooled by the pink shade in the tube because it comes out clear. I keep this around, honestly, the only reason is because it's nice and wet looking, but I prefer wearing it on its own. And I like wearing it when I'm on holiday and it's really hot because it makes your lips feel very cold and it's really co cooling and just nice and refreshing. It kind of makes my lips tingle a bit and I'm just, I think it's going off. So I might get rid of that one, but it is a really pretty lip gloss. Do I think it's worth the money? No. Do I think the NYX lip the NYX lip but lip butters butter gloss the NYX butter glosses are better and you know you get more bang for your buck yes Marc Jacobs next is a lip gloss that I really really loved and was my favorite lip gloss until I found dose of colors on repeat this one is I like a little bit better because it's a cheaper price point than the Marc Jacobs and I feel like it gives a very, very similar look to the lips. They are both very wet looking, very comfortable to wear. They last a nice amount of time on the lips, um, but they don't feel heavy or sticky or anything like that. Yeah, the Marc Jacobs ones are really beautiful and they smell minty fresh, like they smell minty, but they don't cool your lips or tingle your lips. They just smell like mint and I really like that but some people I know don't love that. So they do smell minty. These ones smell more like vanilla butter, you know. Um, so it just depends, I guess, on your preference and how much money you got to spend. But I don't think you need to buy the Marc Jacobs. I think you will get a very, very similar look with the Dose of Colors ones. Finally, my final lip gloss formula that I'm gonna talk about is the Gen Nude from Bare Minerals. Really like the liquid lip, really like the Gen Nude Butter Gloss, I think they're called. There's butter in there somewhere. Um, I have the shades Fly and I have the shades Sugar. So Sugar is a recent one to my collection. These don't smell great, but they do apply really nicely. Sugar is what I'm wearing today on my lips. Again, it's one of those easy throw on, like a NYX tiramisu or a dose of colors on repeat. I will show what that looks like. Um, it's much more pigmented um, than the NYX Butter Gloss, which is on the end there. And that one there is the Bare Minerals, but they are pretty much the same shade. So if you don't wanna spend your money on the Bare Minerals one, then go for the NYX Tiramisu first, see if the shade works for you, and then you can splurge. This one is gonna be a little bit more pigmented um, and just a little bit quicker, I guess. You don't have to build it up as much and use up as much product when you're applying this. I also really like the applicator on this. It's like nice and fat and you can just like quickly get it on there and it looks good over lip sticks and it also looks really wet on the lips. So another formula that I love and I also have the shade Fly. I only keep this because I like to wear it with a very bronzed, glowy golden hour type of look in the summer because it's like a brown tan shade with lots of gold reflex in it and it just looks very pretty when you've got a lot of bronze like a tan and a lot of bronze going on and um, like a gold highlight it just all looks really sun-kissed and pretty so I keep that around for that specific look that's it <laughs> those are all my lip products my entire lip product collection you guys are now in the know let me know your lip product recommendations below and if you want to go and check me out on Instagram it is at Joanna underscore Stora I would love to come, come and say hi to you there I would love for you to come and say hi to me there don't forget to like and subscribe if you would like to see more videos from me and I will see you in the next one bye